What's up guys, this is the Shield Skater and welcome back again to the Shit Podcast. So today we have a guest from Germany. He is Ralph Weaver, a skater, a DJ and also a street artist. Then this conversation is going to be very fun. Enjoy and listen. This is the Shit Podcast. Hello, my name is Ralph Weber from Germany and welcome to the Shit Podcast. Let's go for it. Okay, so okay. how are you today? Are you going to skate this day or, or what, what time is it right there? Uh, the actual time is um, 18, 18 o'clock in oh, Germany. But maybe tomorrow you are going to skate. Yes, uh, tomorrow I want to skate when the weather uh, is fine and we we must look we have in germany this lockdown laws and we must look that uh, you just can skate with one guy and when the police hits on the spot or comes on the spot and you more guys then you get arrested or get tickets you just must look uh, at street spots when you skate street spots it can be that people hit you up and shout at you and say, what the fuck, you going to skate here? It's Corona time, man, you don't have a mask on. And well, when the police came, you get a you get a ticket or you get uh, pay you have to or pay get arrested. Or... Yes. That really sucks. That's not so, cool. Yeah, for sure. So when you want to escape with more than one friend, what do you have to do? You have to choose the friend with which you want to escape because you only can go with one person. So how is that? That really sucks. Yes, I have many friends. They are uh, in areas in Germany um, that I didn't meet over months. In their area, they just is allowed to drive 15 kilometers at their area yeah and when you when they drive more they get arrested or get a ticket that's nice. so hard it's so hard and when you live in this area you you can go nothing i have friends they don't can go to me <laughs> why they live in the area and that's the reason why i have friends then i, then I have, didn't meet two months three months four months and uh, yes, I have friends here and I must choose with um, which friend I go skate in these times. That's very difficult, a very hard situation right there. And talking about this, what did you do the last year in general? Mm, the last year was hard. I um, didn't can film for my sponsors uh, 2020 was really hard for me um but yeah we we make the best <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it. true and we are here we are alive and that's very nice so you were mentioning that you have a sponsors who are your sponsors yeah. right now um yes i drive for a bot shop freiburg that's uh, the local shop at freiburg freiburg is uh, a town 80 kilometers from us and um, I drive for uh, Ladrido Skate Wax and uh, they came from Austria that's the home boards from the shop I drive that's pretty nice so what do you have to do what is your commitment with these brands do you have to record clips for social media Instagram yes. or you have to make yes. video parts yeah yes like you say we make many social media clips and make clips for our sponsors and make photos and and put it on social media on our private uh, channels and there's a many projects um, who they plan it but um, we, we must make what does corona with us yeah for sure 
we need to we need to see what is going to happen with this pandemic but we can't stop working and producing and yes. doing yes projects yes so. with many many projects uh, they are uh, not finished and i wonder what did you do besides skateboarding uh, i i'm uh, working in uh, at the shop they yeah. sell uh, drinks Okay. And uh, they say normal, normal drinks, and um, yes, that's my that's my normal job uh, beside the skateboarding. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but you you also like the music. You are also a DJ. Is that true? Yes, yes, of course. I'm a DJ. About uh, since uh, I was um, 16 or uh, yeah, 16, I am DJ. I'm beginning with, uh, I, I think we see at the background that yeah. I, uh, I'm beginning with um, hip hop and R&B and then I came to other music stuff, electro, drum and bass, um, techno, house, minimal and putting all together and work with it and that's, that's uh, created a own style for me. And over the years, I, I drive to many battles, make this, and um, learning, scratching, and cutting. And um, yes, that's that's uh, created my style. So yeah, for sure. So you are taking this the DJ, the DJ stuff like a hobby, or maybe you want to make a career with your would you um, at the at the beginning. I want to make it as a career. Yeah. And I meet many, many uh, popular singers, rappers, DJs. I have um, friends. They are uh, they are famous in Germany, okay. and um, they make a career. But for me, this DJ thing you can make. But when you didn't get over the past years famous and and it works or it. And don't work and it's just get a hobby yes i like what you are saying about <laughs> yeah and don't take it too serious you know, we can make a career of what we love but if not it's okay because we yeah. love to do that 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 yes of course and i and i i bought a, a, a skating is one thing uh, but i need a i need a other uh a other thing where i can focus when the skating gets too hard or I slam and, and, and get an injury and, and then I think oh shit or uh, like I I hit uh, past a few years I hit my uh, my feet and ha had my feet broken oh. and I didn't can skate over months and then uh, what you do and then I I started with uh, street art graffiti music and, and so it so it became the second or third part of my life, this DJ thing and street art. That's really Why nice. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations for that because you you Thanks. don't you you were you were in an injury and you don't matter about it. You just find something else to focus your energy and your time, and that's nice. Yes. So you are also yeah. an artist. What is your art about? Uh, my art is uh, a mix from uh, traditional uh, South German uh, Black Forest yeah. art. You know the girls with the with the with the red hats. Yeah. And and this I combine or uh, I uh, a mix about traditional uh, Black Forest uh, woman or Black Forest hats. And we and mix it with new school and old school graffiti parts uh, and characters, and put this together and make new art. Uh, I've also make street art or um, pictures and sketches with this and put it on my Instagram and my Facebook. And um, yeah, it's that, that's how it works. That's nice. And what do you think is the main concept that you want to express with your art? What, what do you want to express with it? Um, my art um, should just the people put a smile on their face. When they see it, they must joking or laughing and say, hey, that's cool, that's nice. Just put uh, a smile on your face. When you see it, you, you see, ah, okay, that's from him. 
Yeah, uh, put a smile on their face of the people who see your art, and that's nice. And and do you think that it also happens with the music and with the skateboarding? What is your purpose when you're? Um, I think my my skateboarding is. Um, I don't make normal tricks. I just want it the skateboarding. I want make tricks that not many people do, and just find every time a new way to to make new tricks. Yeah, the, I just want to make the people happy and the people happy uh, they are with me or they see it and they say, whoa, that's cool. And I just I just want, um, when I see skating, it also makes me smile. Skateboarding was so the, the first um, sport in my sport career that uh, make, me, make me smile over years. And I say, that's so special. And that's so many things at skateboarding. They makes every day a new uh, chapter opens. And uh, that's uh, I didn't get at uh, other sports. I make uh, handball, I make football, I make ice hockey and so many sports. And um, But this thing that skateboarding makes, this many um, chapters that skateboarding has, that's I that's I don't or just don't see at other sports. That's really true. The feeling that we feel when we land a trick is so yes. different that making a goal yes. or doing one an, another kind of a sport. I agree with you. Yes. For that reason, skating is so amazing. So, what do you prefer? Yes. Do you prefer to skate in the streets or to skate in skate parks? Um. I prefer to skate in the streets. Street spots uh, in German street spots you must search. <laughs> uh, they, the architecture is uh, crazy, and there are many street spots. Or at uh, in our area at the Black Forest, you you see street spots. Uh, are not yet, you must look twice, and then you see ah okay there. Here is something. There are little stairs. There are curb. There are rail. And then you see cool spots and cool things. Okay. And uh, the skate parks here are cool, but you you didn't have many skate parks like in other parts uh, in Germany, who you can drive cool big beton uh, or uh, concrete parks. And um, okay, I know what you mean. <laughs> And, and what about the community in your country? What do you think about the community in a general perspective, the skate community? Did, did, yes, the, the skate community, community here is, is very, very cool. And um, the coolest thing I see over the years that um, yet in this time, all just got more uh, together. And uh, that's a cool thing that everyone has gotten more together and can um yes okay that's really nice the skateboarding is growing in a lot of senses and that's very nice yes and what about the industry in your country do you think that is giving the support that the skaters that the community deserve or what do you think the brand? I, I, th I think i think they can do more when i started uh, 1999 or 1998 there was a, a big hype about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and uh, this game and all, all the people start to skate and it, it was a big hype. And all, all everybody pushed this thing and say, hey, skateboarding is so cool. Times before, all the people shouting and are going crazy when you skate at the streets or at, at, at uh, places. And then uh, just... Um, at this time, when the game comes, all the people say, oh, cool, that's a skateboard. Hey, can you make a kickflip? Can you make, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, cool. Do a kickflip. Everyone says, blah, blah, do a kickflip, do this, do this. <laughs> they just see the tricks at this game and then say, oh, hey, make this, make this. But uh, then it, it the hype goes down and all these people, they were there, they just quit skateboarding and uh, skateboarding, uh, I, I, what skateboarding? And I think at these times, um, 
mm, the industry must just push more skateboarding and the skateboarders and the scene make it for kids easier to get on this on this whole scene and and and, and this whole uh, skateboarding game um you know what i mean <laughs> for sure i know what you mean and i agree with you the industry needs to push more the, the children and the new yes. generations and we yes. skaters there are some skaters that really want to make a living uh, with this and it, it yes. would be great if the brands support us in a better way yes. i agree with yes. you yes right when they more push our skaters and make more um, at the teams of the skate shops or the skate brands and say okay i um I hold more skaters here and make flow sponsoring and make just that the little guys or the kids see, oh cool, I get a board when I get better and make tricks and this and that. That's um, um, like uh, when you get when you get uh, your first board um, your, or, or your first get, board you get sponsored, that's a push for you and you say, okay, nice. I get a board uh, for for that thing, what I love. Yes. And I may, and then and then you, and then it, it works together with this thing. Yeah, for um, sure. Because after that support, we empowered ourselves in a better way, and we are like, okay, I want to escape more. Yes. I want to be better, and it's a win win. Yes. The brand is winning, and we skaters are winning. So. Yes, that's a win-win situation for everyone, and that's cool. And and the brands can make uh, their names out uh, and get bigger and bigger. Yeah, But for sure. These brands you must search. <laughs> the brands <laughs> won't true. make make their dollars and make them um, but their euros and. Um, yeah, for sure. And let's talk about your skaters, your favorite skaters. Who are your references? The, the skaters who inspired you the most? Okay, at my um, beginning of skateboarding, it was Ronnie Grieger, Eric Costen, Chad Muska was a big influence on me, and uh, Chris Cole, Jamie Thomas, Chris Joslin. I'm, I'm I, every time when I see Chris Joslin's tricks and what he makes, and or, or Shane O'Neill. When I see Shane O'Neill putting a new curb on rail trick on the streets, that's so amazing. That's a blast. When I when I see this and I think, what the fuck, this trick I want to do. All right, good references right there. From what you say, I really love Shane O'Neill and Chris Joslin. Chris Joslin is very gnarly for gaps, and Shane O'Neill is a very technical skater, and he really yes. skates very beautiful. His tricks are are very amazing. They're uh, so clean. They're yeah, so, so clean. clean. Time. You put it on the streets like a, like he came out of the bed and put the shoes on up, and, and do it. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. Bam, bam, do yeah, it. that's something that yes. really happened with Every Shane time. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And I, I think that you have references of him because you like to escape ledges. Yeah, is that true? Yes. You, You, yes. It's like your favorite obstacle? What can you say? Yes. What is your favorite ledges, obstacle to ledges, skate? Ledges and curbs. All right. At, at my beginning at skating, it was stairs and rails. Uh, but I, in Germany, at the first years and had uh, broke my middle hand bone and broke oh. my arm. And, and it happens two or three times. Fuck. And, and then I say, okay, I must I must look <laughs> what is there as I jump and I didn't want to get hurt every time and every time broke my arm or my middle hand and then I say okay I, fo I get a new focus on curbs and ledges yeah more shield because yeah the gaps and the handrails are a little bit dangerous yes and, and what do you think was the reason why you get that injury in the past For example, in my case, I also got a bad injury uh, like five years ago in my knee. I broke my, my knee and it was because I, I didn't warm up and that was my problem. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I, I can do a hard flip down that gap, but I don't warm up. And 
that was the yes. problem. That, that's the same problem yeah. I had. Oh, I didn't okay. warm up, got on stairs, say to my friend, I make a three flip down uh, this seven or eight stairs and my board pop up and it, it I land primo. Yeah. And then I got fall on my hand and broke my middle hand oh, and my arm. Fuck. Same time, it was, it uh, was many parts broken at one time that that's so so shitty when you when you want to film this trick and then fall and you broken and it's just the the, the thing that you didn't warm up yes a simple thing like just five minutes of our time that makes a huge difference yes. i agree with you and that after this after this enduring i um every time warm up and I had uh, a massage gun. Okay. To put before skating. On. Yes, before skating and after skating. All right. And right now you are okay. Of yes. all your injuries, you feel very good yeah. when you are skating. That's pretty yes, nice. Yes, of course. Okay. And and talking about technique, what do you prefer? Talking about skating ledges too. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer to, uh, for example, a tre flip, uh, a 360 flip? Do you prefer to uh, get in the, the ledge with a tree flip or get out the ledge with a tree flip? What trick do you find more easy to do? You know what I mean? I find more easier to get in the ledge. With in the, the ledge. All right. At the beginning at my skate time, I make tray flip uh, tail slides. Okay. But over the years, I just uh, never learned it a second time. Oh, okay. every time when I make it, I just didn't have it. I didn't came in this tail slide, and yet I make 5-0 t- uh, tray flip out. And oh, that, okay. that's work. <laughs> that's work. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it just got the other way. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. So, what would be Thanks. your advice to 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 go for a trick uh, out the ledge? to go for a, a flip trick, you know, because for example, I, I'm doing the 5-0, but I can't figure how to get out with with the, the, the flip mm-hmm. trick. Do I, you have any tip? I think you just must focus at uh, at the point when you get in the curb or the ledge. When, when you get this point, I think that must go step by step. Okay. First step, get, get in the curb or get in the ledge, make the 5-0, grind it. And the next step, hold the grind and then focus on get out the curb. Step by step, I make step one, step two, step three, step four. And that's then, really then, nice. I really like that idea. Can, Thank you for those tips. I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm okay. I, I will tag you like, hey, look what I learned. Thank for yes, the yes, <laughs> maybe you can you can every time ask me <laughs> about you. Right. No problem. No problem. I'm just that's... I'm just uh, open for guys when uh, at my social media or at uh, my Facebook or Instagram or many skaters when I make uh, a, quest- a question round many skaters write me hey I see you can do dolphin flip I see you can do tray flips can you show me or can you say to me trick tips or can you um, my English is just is, is, is not so good, but I, 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 I hope that everyone I can help. And it's so many skaters, they say, hey, can you, I'm skating about two or three months. Uh, I want to make frontside chovets or backside chovets or no complies. And I just want to help everyone. Why? Uh, when I started skating, the scene was so, not many guys want to help the new guy in the skate park or the young kids. And we were kids and came to these old skaters, they was heroes for us. But when, when the moment comes, you go on and say, hey, can you show me a flip or kick flip? And then they say, what the fuck you want from me? And uh, that's a fact they uh, changed over the years. Yeah. I think when I go to the skate park, all skaters are open-minded and say, hey, you want to learn this or this? Can you show me this? Can I show you that? And, uh, um, that's a fact that changed over the years yeah, i think for sure right now yes. the community is more supportive i really like that thank you for being supportive yes. and for giving your tips i'm talking about this yes. can you give us an advice what would be your advice to get sponsored 
What is your advice? Um, I would say use your community, use your friends and talk with them what they think. Is my skating good to get sponsored or I must just get better? And then I think it's just hard at these times to get sponsored. Many sponsors are so hard to get and I think you must use social media, just upload new clips and more and more people see you and say, oh cool, that's nice, I want to see this guy. And then it can, it can work. And thank you for this. Okay, Ralph, this conversation has been pretty fun. And um, let's go for one question, one last question, mm -hmm. and that's it, all right? Okay. So, what is your process to learn a new trick? When you visualize a trick and you say like, okay, I want to do this, when you have the trick in your mind, how is the process for you? The last trick that I learned, the trick was a 50-50 dolphin flip out. Oh my God. And uh, when I make this the first time, I didn't see it on YouTube or on every other platform. And I put it together. I can make 50-50, I can make good dolphin flips. And I make every time this thing and it didn't work. And then I, and every time train it, train it, train it, train it, train it and put it in other ways and flip it and flip it and do it. And then it works. And then I can do it on every curve. Oh. And it works. Yeah, we, we just need to mind the trick and then just train and yes. train, practice, practice and go for it. Never give up. It's important. Yes. All right. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you for this conversation, as I was saying. And Thank congratulations you. for all the achievements that you have made, not only in skateboarding, but in music and in art. So thanks, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you must say when, when you put out the clip from this yeah. interview, and then I put it on my Instagram and we we push push this whole thing a little bit. So they see how cool this format is and how cool you are and you are all. I, th I think that's a really cool thing. Thank you and for the kind yes. words. All right. Thank you, Ralph. And I hope that you can skate tomorrow. And maybe in a future yes, we cool. can skate. Maybe in Germany, maybe in Colombia. I don't know. Life is good. Yes, yes. When, when, when this holy... Uh, when this uh, whole co uh, corona shit is uh, over, no. then, then uh, we must get it. <laughs> yeah, for yes, sure. and let, let us connect. Thank you, Ralph. And good luck with all your projects, music, skateboarding and art. All right. Thank you. Okay. Have fun. And nice thank you. Night. All right. Thanks. You too. <laughs> bye bye, man. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Bye. Okay guys, this was Ralph Weber, very nice vibes from this guy, and yeah, that was it for today's conversation guys, I hope that you enjoyed this, and of course that you can comment down below in order to know your opinion about this conversation that we just had. Thank you so much for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe, and as always, let's go to the streets and let's go skate safe. Thank you for being here.